In this video I will show you how you can use Stable Diffusion with GIMP on any low-end PC. We will add a GIMP plugin that communicates with any Stable Diffusion server of your choice and then we will use the plugin to modify an existing image. But before we start, welcome to the channel. Here you can find everything about Linux, Docker, game dev or software development in general or short agile dev art. If you like that kind of content then give a like, subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified when I release new videos. All the links from this video are down in the description and also down there are the timestamps so you can skip any part if you want. What you can see here is one of the Stable Diffusion plugins for GIMP. This one here works together with Google Colab, but there are also different flavors of the plugin, for instance if you want to run your Stable Diffusion on a local server. Local server means that Stable Diffusion is running on your local machine and Google Colab means that it is running on a Google Colab notebook. And this notebook is not running on your local machine but it is running on a Google server. The benefit of using Google Colab is that you don't need to use your own resources but instead you can use the GPUs from Google. At the time of recording the service is free and that means that everyone can use it even with an old PC. And that's what we will do as well. The only important thing, if you scroll a bit down here, is that you need to use the GIMP version 2.10 and not the latest version 2.99. And then down here it explains how to set everything up. So the first thing we need to do, we need to download the plugin. Let's go to code, download zip. All right, now let's open GIMP. This is GIMP. Now first let's check the version, help, about GIMP. I am using the version 2.10, that's okay, that's supported. Now let's close that. And let's go to edit, preferences. Here you have folders and plugins. Now select the path with your username. For me it's this one. Obviously I'm on Windows. If you are using Linux or Mac then the path will be different. And open it in the explorer. So let's paste it here. And now find the downloaded plugin. Here it is. Let's open it. And now just take the GIMP stable diffusion python file and drag it to the plugins folder. Copy. That's it. We can now close GIMP and start it again back in GIMP and now you should see the AI menu here. That means the plugin is working. Now let's go back to GitHub. The next step is to open Google Colab, so click on the link. This is Google Colab and if you want to know more about Google Colab you can check the link down in the description. First we need to connect to the notebook, so go up here, click on connect. Alright, we are connected. Now make sure under view resources and change runtime type here make sure the GPU is selected, it should be by default, but if it's not, just select it here and save it. Let's close this one. And now we need to go through the sections, scroll down here. The first one is NVIDIA GPU, let's start this one. We want to run. Next we need to connect to our Google Drive, run this one. It will ask us for permission. Now if you are not sure if you should trust this Colab instance, maybe there is malicious code in there that's executed. You can actually check the code that's executed by clicking on this show code and if the code looks suspicious then of course don't use it. But I trust this one enough to continue. Now my Google Drive is mounted under this pad and you can find it if you go to files and then one level up, content, drive and here is my drive mounted. Next we need to define a path where the stable diffusion models will be stored. I will just leave this one at default and run the cell and now here you see the path for the models and the path for stable diffusion. Then let's set up the environment, run this one, all right, then run python definitions and now the next part will download the stable diffusion model which has about 4 gigabyte. It will download the model from Hugging Face, so you will need to have a Hugging Face account, accept the Stable Diffusion terms, and then you will get the token, and then with this token you will be able to download this model here. You can find the link to Hugging Face down in the description, or if you go to show code, you can take any one of those, for instance this here, let's copy the path, only the first part, copy selection, and then open this one in a new tab. On this side accept the Stable Diffusion terms, and then go to settings, down here, then access tokens, here just create a new token and copy it. Back to Google Colab. In my case I already downloaded the model and in addition I trained the model with custom images of myself in this case and now this updated model can generate custom images of myself. If you want to know how I did that and how to train the model with your custom images and use it with Stable Diffusion then you can check the link to the video up there or down in the description. So as said I will use a custom model which is in my Google Drive and here it is. I will right click on it, copy path and then paste it here on the custom checkpoint path like that and I will remove this drop down, just delete this comment here 
and then set model checkpoint to custom. That's it. And run. Let's scroll down. All right, the model is okay. And now we can start the endpoint for the GIMP plugin. That's basically it. You can leave this one running and just copy this link here. This is the endpoint for the GIMP plugin. And now as long as this one is running, we can use the plugin in GIMP. So let's go over to GIMP, back in GIMP, and let's use the plugin. First, I will load an image, this one here. This glorious image of myself was generated with stable diffusion with the updated model. Again, if you want to know how to update the model with your images, you can check the link to the video down in the description. So here we will try to edit the image using Stable Diffusion. Let's say I want to add a beard to myself. So we need to tell Stable Diffusion that we want a beard. Now if you just try to send the whole thing to Stable Diffusion with a prompt, a guy with a beard, you will probably get a similar image, but very random. Now if you don't know what you want, then Stable Diffusion is perfect, it will give you random stuff. But if you're really specific in what you want, in this case just a beard on this image right here, then it gets tricky. And probably you will need to do a few iterations to get it as you want it. In this video I will show you how I would do it. So first I would need to guide Stable Diffusion somehow. And what I would do here is take a brown color, for instance the hair, and then paint with the paintbrush the area where I want the beard. So let's do it. First I will create a copy of this one. and then. Zoom in and let's cover the area. Somehow like that. And now just to give it a bit more texture, I will take the health tool, take the texture, press control and click on the hair, and then I will just tap the texture into the beard. Somehow like that. And now the whole thing looks like that. Now with this, Stable Diffusion should figure out what I want. Now to make the process a bit faster, I don't want to send Stable Diffusion the whole picture, just the face. So what I will do, I will go to Image, Canvas Size, and I will scale the layer down 512 times 512, like that, and resize. And now I will move both layers by pressing Shift and the arrow down key, like that. And now I will go to Layer, Layer to Image Size. Now it filled the transparency with white, but I actually want the transparency. So right click on the layer, add alpha channel, and now use select by color, select the white stripe, and I will fill it with a brown color. Remove the selection. I also want stable diffusion to paint my hair, but here we will try a different thing. We will not paint it like this, but we will mark it for in painting. So I will grab the lasso tool and just click with the mouse and mark the area where I want the hair to be, like that. Release the mouse and I will just connect it here. Click it, now go to select and sharpen and just press delete. We don't need the selection anymore. If Stable Diffusion finds a transparent area, it will try to in-paint. So here we have two different approaches. Let's see which one will give better results. All right, let's try it out. Go to AI, Stable Image to Image. This is the plugin. And now down here where it says backend URL, we need to paste the URL that we previously copied from Google Colab. I have it in my cheat sheet and paste it here. All right, now since we are doing some in-painting, we need to set in-painting to yes. The rest should be okay as it is. And we even don't need to write a prompt here because Stable Diffusion will try to figure out from the picture what it is. But I will write a similar prompt that I used to generate this original image. I will copy it from my cheat sheet and paste it in. And here I will write general with a beard. Now here I will increase the steps to about 100 because I want a better quality image. And let's try it out. OK and run. Now if I switch back to Google Colab, here we can see the image is generated. And when it's done, it will send the image back to GIMP. All right, let's check GIMP. So this is the result. And I'm actually pretty happy with the beard here. Also the hair is good. And now I will take this image and drag it onto the original, like that. And now I will move the original image as the first layer. So this is the original. And here I will right click on it, add layer mask, white is okay, add. Now click on this layer, select a black color, take the brush, and now let's zoom in here and mask the areas where you want to have the beard from the generated image. All right, I'm actually pretty happy with that. And let's do the same thing up here. 
just to mask the transition a bit. Looks actually pretty good, I would say. Now, if the results are good enough, you can just take the image and go with it. But if you think it needs a bit more polish, then you can do a second run. And in that case, right click on the layer and select new from visible and then go AI, stable image to image. No, we are not in painting, so switch this one to no. And I will increase the steps to 150 because I want the maximum quality. So let's run again. Okay, wait for the result. All right, now we got something like this, but I actually like the previous result better. So what I'm gonna do, again AI, stable image to image, I will increase the init strength to about 0.9. A higher value means that the image will be much more like this one. So let's try it out again, run. That's more like it. Let's compare the beard. Yes, the new one is definitely better. So we will take this one, grab it and take it onto the original. And I will move the mask layer to the first position. We already see a better result. I will just do a quick fix on the mask layer. All right, let's see the difference. This is the new one and this is the old one. The new and the old. I like the new one better. And that's it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, if you like my content, if you think it's helpful, then please give a like, subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified when I release new videos. It means a lot to me. It makes the channel grow. So thank you very much and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.